Welcome to the Graduate Education Foundation Tour of the Program, a three-part demonstration of the CMELectures.org and CELectures.org sites. Part 3, Viewing a Lecture and Obtaining Credits. While viewing the abstract for a lecture you would like to take, scroll to the bottom of the page and click the View Seminar button. A new screen will pop up in which the lecture will display. All lectures are in Flash, a free program that can be downloaded from the Adobe website if it is not already installed on your computer. If you or someone who uses your computer have previously viewed the selected lecture, you may be asked if you would like to resume where you left off. This screen will not appear on lectures that were never viewed before on a specific computer. After an introductory animation, an audio test and directions for how to navigate through the lecture will appear on the screen. Note that these lectures feature voiceover narration, so you'll want to have your speakers turned on to get the full effect. For the purposes of this tour of the program, the audio for the sample lecture has been muted. After you're familiar with the program, you may skip this introductory portion of the lecture by clicking the Continue and Skip Navigation Instructions buttons, or by clicking on the bar at the top of the screen that says GEF Graduate Education Foundation and tapping your spacebar once. The lecture will begin with the author biography page, followed by objectives, an outline, and the lecture itself. You may navigate through the lecture at your own pace and return to a previous screen at any time by using the next and previous navigational buttons. To skip to a certain part of the lecture, click on the Contents tab and select the part you wish to access. If you cannot see the Contents tab at the lower left portion of the flash screen, you may need to resize your window. You may also reach the end of a lecture exam in this manner. Once a lecture is complete, feel free to review the lecture by using the navigational buttons, or if you're finished, click the button that says Click Here for Seminar Exam. You will then see a page with exam instructions, and you may take the exam at this point. In order to receive credit for a lecture, you must first correctly answer 12 out of 15 questions in an exam. You may refer back to the lecture at any time during the exam. After you've answered the 15th question, you'll be given an option to have your exam graded. You will be notified immediately if you've passed the exam or not. If you have not passed the exam, you may retake it up to two more times before being prompted to restart the lecture from the beginning. If you do not pass the exam, you can review the exam questions. During this review, incorrectly answered questions will be highlighted. Each lecture can be taken for credit once in a 12-month period, but lectures can be revisited for reference purposes at any time. If you pass the exam, a short questionnaire about the lecture must be completed. Once this is complete, a screen will appear where you must enter your name, email address, and degree type. This information will be used only to generate a certificate of completion or participation. This information is safeguarded and will never be shared or sold in accordance with GEF's privacy policy.
Questions marked with an asterisk, first name, last name, email address, degree type, and state of licensure are required and must be completed. Additionally, you must explicitly state that you have read and are in agreement with GEF's disclaimers, continuing education information, and privacy policy. A certificate of completion or participation is generated immediately after the contact form page. You can print the certificate for your records. A copy in PDF format will be emailed to the address provided in the contact form. The PDF certificate file should be saved in the event it is needed for an audit by a licensing agency. This concludes Part 3, Viewing a Lecture and Obtaining Credits, as well as the Graduate Education Foundation tour of the program. We hope it was helpful in getting you acclimated to the program. If you have questions about a lecture, exam, or certificate, or have questions or comments about this tour, please feel free to contact a Graduate Education Foundation representative at 877-263-5400.